Rolf Corinne, level 3, last workshop at Warsaw Halloween Swing. Uh, this is what we did. We started off talking about um, that we want, normally our, our bicycle swing is flow. So everything is like fluent and flow, and that's sort of how we ex parts of our good technique that things we connect it. And we tried to break down what is, what is really flow, what makes it look good and nice. One of, part of that was weight transfers. So we don't want to go like weight transfer, weight transfer, triple, triple, all the weight at once. We want to sort of strike the beat on count and spend the rest of the time doing it. One and two and three and four and five and six and so we strike on, on the count and then we spend the rest of the time pulling through that. When we did that, it's good to practice when you go like one and two and like to start separating the steps. But at some point you gotta break away from that and try to blend it all together. We tried to do that too, so instead of going like one and two and we try to make it flow so that it strikes, but then it keeps going. It doesn't like stop and then do it. You just need to do it slower to create more Continuous flow. Continuous movement, bam, bam, bam. This is great for timing also, so your timing is, is on point. Mm -hmm. so that was one part of flow movement, that was weight, weight transfers. Then Karen gave you three options. Um, to create continuous movement. Usually on the anchor step, this is the place that we're stuck for the, it's restart for the next pattern. So usually anchor step, we're doing in front of each other, we don't do much. So I gave you three options. The first one was rotation. If you want to do rotation, you have to close the one bit before the anchor to be able to open the anchor step. Yeah? So when you open the anchor step, try to do it as slow as you can. Don't do it fast, five and six, and then you still create stop. So we want to do it slowly. So if we're doing sugar push, one, two, two three, three, just a little close. Open, 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 six, open. One. One. Two, two, three, three and, and four, four, open, five, five and six. six. So the first was rotations, the second one was slide. Before the slide, I want to show you again how to do the correct way of to do slide. Instead of like shifting your whole body together and fall on the knee, you will injure the knee. We want to prepare ourselves from the base leg to be able to push from this leg to the other leg and then it slowly go to the other leg. So this is the correct way to do slide. Five and a six. Five and a six. Yes, we did it again in anchor step. One, two, three and four. Five and six. One, two, three and four. Five and six. Yeah. The one, third one. one issue we comment on yeah. there was just make sure that you're you're sliding, mm -hmm. trying to stay close during the slide. Don't try to like slide away from each other, and then you break the frame. So you got to manage distance. Boom, boom, boom. Rather go closer, then you can create distance into your one. Mm -hmm. And the third one was movement. Movement can be everything you want to do. Can be shoulders. Can be all the ribcage movement. Can be waves back, waves to the side. Can be hip for the followers. Followers and leaders, if you want to use the arm, you can swing the arm to create more movement. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you want to choose rotation, slide, movement. I want you to move all the time to create this continuous movement and flow when we want to dance. This is the default, when we want to be like clean. Something should be moving. Yeah. yeah. So then we talked about uh, adding short movement into our dance as a contrast. So our baseline is flowy very well, but then all of a sudden there's a stop. And that's more interesting. The same way you watch a movie, if the movie is nothing's happening, but then boom, there's a scary guy, then you, you get the idea. Yeah, so we talked about different parts of the body that you, we can use only head, shoulders, chest, hip, knees, rotations, the whole body together, go up, go down. You have a lot of parts in the body that you can use to hit stuff in the music. So we gave you some idea how to practice it. We did it only sugar push, we really strike and fast action, sharp, and then we mix it with, we did flow, and then staccato, and then flow again, and then staccato, boom, flow, and then again staccato, so you can practice it when you're playing with the, with the beats, but the, the best will be to practice it in the music, and to hit whatever you hear in the music. At the end of the day, the music is what guides you to what we do, we dance to music, so when the music is flowy and light, we want to be flowy, when the music asks for sharp movement, we should be doing that. Lastly, we talked about how we can not only just do sharp movement in the body, but we leaders, we can lead it. So we gave you a few examples. We did this slow, slow hit. And we said that that energy builds up. To hit. Use free parts in the body to hit as well. Yeah, so not bigger. only Corinne arriving, but I can add my head here. Or I can add my head and look at the, at the follower. One, two, hit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the other example was the invitational. So we yeah. went one, we reached and here. Two. 
waiting slow and then we turn and twist to the body so we practice those and then we show a few other examples you can do a slow tuck slow hit any any pattern can be like that yeah so you can add speed and play with that yeah i think that's it we will try to play with the flow and staccato and have fun and that's the music and i hope you helped you to create more interesting uh, dance if you have questions, we are here tonight and then we are leaving, uh, um, leaving, uh, leaving, leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great dance. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah.